In the mid-20th century, specifically on November 1, 1955, a conflict erupted in Southeast Asia that would send shockwaves around the world, the Vietnam War. This was not just a local skirmish, it was a high-stakes tug-of-war between ideologies, with North Vietnam, backed by the Soviet Union and China, seeking to impose a communist government on South Vietnam. South Vietnam, on the other hand, was supported by its principal backer, the United States, and other anti-communist allies. The Soviet played a significant role in this conflict by providing military aid to the North. This war was more than a battle for territory. It was an outcome of the ideological conflict between communism and capitalism during the larger Cold War chess match. The Vietnam War, characterized by its guerrilla warfare and brutal tactics, introduced a new kind of conflict to the global stage. It not only reshaped the political landscape, but also had profound social impacts. This war, marked by its intensity and controversy, was the first of its kind to be broadcasted into the living rooms of millions, forever changing the perception of warfare. The Vietnam War was marked by several major battles and operations that shaped the course of the conflict. One such operation was the Tet Offensive, a series of surprise attacks launched by North Vietnamese forces during the Lunar New Year holiday in early 1968. This offensive was a strategic gamble by the North aimed at sparking a popular uprising against the South Vietnamese government. While the Tet Offensive was a military defeat for the North, it had a profound psychological impact on the American public, shaking their confidence in the US government's assurances of progress in the war. Then came the Battle of Khe San, one of the longest and deadliest battles of the war. For more than two months, US Marines and their South Vietnamese allies held their ground against a relentless siege by North Vietnamese forces. The battle was significant because it diverted North Vietnamese resources away from the cities during the Tet Offensive. However, the human cost was high, with thousands of lives lost on both sides. The Battle of Khe San underscored the brutal nature of the war and the determination of both sides to fight to the bitter end. Another major operation was Operation Rolling Thunder, a sustained bombing campaign against North Vietnam by the US military. From 1965 to 1968, American aircraft dropped hundreds of thousands of tons of bombs on North Vietnam, aiming to destroy the North's industrial capacity and crush its will to fight. However, the operation had the opposite effect, strengthening the resolve of the North Vietnamese and galvanizing international opposition to the war. These battles and operations, filled with strategic maneuvering and brutal combat, played a pivotal role in the trajectory of the Vietnam War. They showcased the complexities of the conflict, the resilience of the Vietnamese people, and the far-reaching implications of foreign intervention. They also left indelible marks on the soldiers who fought, and the civilians caught in the crossfire, forever changing their lives in the course of history. The Vietnam War was not just a civil war, but a proxy war involving major global powers. This conflict saw the United States and the Soviet Union, two superpowers of the time, taking on significant roles. The United States, driven by its commitment to contain the spread of communism, provided extensive military and financial support to South Vietnam. This support extended from direct military intervention to the funding of operations and infrastructure. On the other side of the coin, the Soviet Union stood firmly with North Vietnam. While they were not as directly involved as the United States, their support was no less impactful. The Soviets supplied North Vietnam with essential military equipment, strategic advice, and financial aid, fueling the North's resistance against the South and its American allies. The involvement of these foreign powers amplified the scale of the conflict, turning Vietnam into a battleground for ideological supremacy. The end of the Vietnam War marked a new era of change and adaptation for both Vietnam and the United States. The Paris Peace Accords, signed in January of 1973, promised a ceasefire and a peaceful coexistence between North and South Vietnam. However, the agreement was short-lived. By the spring of 1975, North Vietnamese forces had launched a full-scale offensive, capturing key cities and swiftly moving toward the South Vietnamese capital, Saigon. In a few dramatic days at the end of April, Saigon fell. 
Images of desperate South Vietnamese civilians and American personnel fleeing the advancing North Vietnamese forces became seared into the global consciousness. This marked the end of the Vietnam War and the beginning of a unified Vietnam under communist rule. But the war's end was not a conclusion. Instead, it was the starting point for a new chapter in the histories of Vietnam, the United States, and their respective peoples. In Vietnam, the war's end brought about a period of rigorous social and economic restructuring, often referred to as the socialist transformation. Despite initial hardships, Vietnam has since emerged as a dynamic and rapidly growing economy in Southeast Asia. For the United States, the Vietnam War had a profound impact, influencing military strategy, public opinion, and foreign policy. It led to a re-evaluation of how and when the US would use military force overseas, giving birth to what is known as the Vietnam Syndrome. This term refers to the American public's increased wariness and skepticism towards military interventions abroad. Public opinion in the US was deeply divided by the war. Its divisive legacy continued to reverberate through American society and politics for many years. The war's controversial nature fueled a widespread anti-war movement and led to significant changes in the US military draft system. The Vietnam War's aftermath left a lasting legacy, shaping the future of both nations and the world at large. The Vietnam War, like all historical events, offers valuable lessons for the present and the future. It underscores the critical importance of understanding cultural contexts in warfare. The war was not simply a clash of arms, but a clash of ideas, ideologies, and cultures. The United States, despite its vast military might, struggled to comprehend the intricacies of Vietnamese society and the tenacity of its people. Moreover, the Vietnam War amplified the impact of media on public opinion. For the first time, the brutal realities of conflict were broadcast into living rooms around the world, altering perceptions and fueling anti-war sentiments. The war also highlighted the consequences of foreign intervention. It demonstrated how intervention, well-intentioned or not, can lead to unforeseen and far-reaching repercussions, sparking decades of political, economic and social upheaval. As we remember the Vietnam War, we carry these lessons forward, hoping to prevent such devastating conflicts in the future.